What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, the STR Super Janemba's Extreme Z Awakening is going to be dropping on Global in about 2-3 to three days from now. So, in today's video, I want to give you guys a full breakdown of basically everything to do with this EZA to get you guys fully prepared, okay? So, with all that said, let's just jump right into it. As you can see, we are starting with the Extreme Z Battle event first. And the release date on Global is April 8th, 2021. It first came out on JP on January 7th, 2021, about three months ago. And the weakness for this event is the fusion category. So obviously, when you're running this event, you want to make sure you have as many fusion category units on your team as possible. But we will get to the more specific team building stuff later on in the video. Now, from there... Let's move on to the stages, and if you guys have done, you know, any of the other Extreme Z battles in the game, this one is very similar. You're getting one Dragonstone per level for the first 30 levels. You're also going to be getting some STR Potential Orbs and the Extreme Z Awakening Medals for Janemba with every single clear. Now, after level 3, he gets additional damage reduction of 50% against Extreme Type units, which means that... If you're running an extreme unit on your team, he's only going to be doing about half the damage he normally does. And then after level 7, there's additional damage reduction of 60% against Fizz types and extreme types. So that's Fizz, Super, and Extreme types. So don't bring any Fizz units on your team at this point. And then beyond level 9, pretty standard characters that are SSR, Rarity, or lower can only cause less than... 2 million damage and of course this was implemented to keep people from using uh, devil man to try to nuke the event right and then after level 12 he gets additional damage reduction of 70 percent against str fizz and extreme types and finally after level 19 there's additional damage reduction of 80 percent against tech str fizz and extreme types so clearly the best options here would be uh, agl type units specifically agl super units and uh, also int units would work but uh you know agl would be best still and uh you know when we come to the team building stuff or when we get to the team building stuff i'll tell you guys the uh what's in my opinion the best build and uh of course if you don't have a lot of fusions units you could just bring a solid super agl team like a mono super agl team and that should work fine but uh yeah we'll get to that in a second so there is the event uh like i said nothing too crazy no real surprises we're getting a bunch of orbs we're getting all the eza medals we're getting some uh, str grand kais as well and then after level 30 you won't be getting the extreme z awakening medals anymore but if you guys need zenny you can farm the uh diamond or rather platinum hercule statues for every level beyond 30. So for clearings level, for clearings, for clearing levels 1 to 30, you're getting all the EZA medals you need to fully extreme Z Awaken Janemba. You're getting enough STR orbs to rainbow an STR unit. It could be Janemba if he's already rainbowed though, then you can save them for something else. And then you're also getting 11 STR Grand Kais and 30 Dragonstones. On top of that, we have a few missions for a few more stones so that's one stone for winning the extreme z battle with uh within one minute and 40 seconds at level 10 or higher two more stones for winning the extreme z battle within two minutes and 10 seconds at level 20 or higher and then one more stone for winning 20 or higher or level 20 or higher with a fusion category uh, unit on your team so that's 34 stones in total now moving on to the team building stuff, as you can see this is the fusion category and uh, since there's 80% damage reduction against tech, STR, and fizz types and also all extreme types, your best bet would be to you know focus on this column right here, the super AGL, uh, AGL units and also the int units, right? So the best leader, the best leader clearly is the AGL Gogeta, right? Fusion category, 170%. And then you got a free-to-play option here in this uh, Veku, who is available on Global right now, so make sure you farm him up. And then you also got uh, Bull, Bullpan. I forgot the name for a second. Bullpan. Uh, this Go Tanks is not amazing, but he should work here as well. And then we also have the Int ones. Obviously, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta 
is a must include if you have him. This uh, int Gotita with the EZA is amazing too. You got two free to play options in these two Gotenkses. He's free to play, right? I think he is free to play. And then uh, we also have this Gotenks who's currently on the PyCon banner. So um, he's a good in uh, inclusion as well. And uh, that pretty much does it, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be going with. Now, if you guys don't have you know, all these units or most of them, then I would recommend that you just build a monotype super AGL team and uh, try to include as many of these guys as possible. And it should be good to go as well. Obviously, if you don't have the right units, then it might be a struggle. And uh, sometimes, you know, for some of these events, you just don't have the right units. You don't have the right teams to beat it. So you just have to be patient, wait for a time when you do have the proper units. But uh, that's what I recommend in terms of the team to bring. Okay, Super AGL, Super Int, and uh, in the Fusion category, if possible. Now from there, let's move on to the actual Janumba himself, talk about what he does. And uh, this EZA, like this unit specifically, I feel like has been slightly controversial. Like not, not super controversial, there's been more controversial units in the past. But uh, some people seem to really love it, and some people seem to really hate it. And uh, we'll talk about exactly why after we go through the details. So let's start with the pre-EZA details first, and then we'll talk about the Extreme Z Awaken details to compare. Okay, so uh, this is pre-EZA. The leader skill is uh, Extreme STR Types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, or Super STR key plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack plus 80%, guard activated against all attacks, and medium chance to evade enemies, enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Now with the EZA, the leader skill is extreme STR key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, so 10% increase, and then super STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. The super attack Immense damage still, but massively lowers defense. So uh, before greatly was a 50% debuff for three turns. This one is an 80% debuff for three turns. Passive is attack and defense plus 100% guards all attacks. Medium chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks. Chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks plus 10% within the same turn with each attack invaded super attacks included. So at first glance, this EZA doesn't seem that impressive, right? Like it doesn't seem like they really changed too much, but uh, the main differences would be of course the leader skill and uh, the super attack. They did go from greatly lower defense to massively lower defense. So the enemy will be, you know, squishier after Janemba attacks them. And then you're getting 100% attack and defense versus just 80% attack. You still have the guard activated against all attacks. You still have the medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, which is 30%. But you get 10% more dodge chance with each attack evaded um, in the same turn. So in theory, if you get attack like you know five times and he dodges three of those, then he'll end up with like a 60% dodge chance for that turn, and uh, it does reset you know after the turn is over. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm like a little bit, okay, so I'm not saying he's not a good EZA, because I do think he's a very good EZA, okay, like, let me get that clear, let me get that out of the way, I think this EZA is very good, but my main issue with it is that, um, he's not, like, clearly better than his predecessor, you know what I mean, like, all the past EZAs, that we've had pretty much make the new EZA clearly better than the previous one. So for example, like the Int Super Godita, he's clearly better. He is like, you know, undisputedly superior to the STR Super Godita. There's no reason to run the STR Super Godita if you have the Int Super Godita Extreme Z Awakened because he's just that much better, right? And uh, pretty much all the past ones we've had, you know, have followed that trend. But this guy, even though he is very good, he's not clearly better than the Int 
Gogeta EZA from like years ago, man. I mean, this guy got his EZA in 2019, August of 2019. That was almost two years ago, right? And um, even though defensively, I think the STR Janemba is definitely better. Uh, offensively, the Int one is actually the superior unit. Like this guy actually hits harder on average. So um, I guess it really depends on what you're looking for, right? Like it depends on the offense. Do you want more offense or do you want more defense? Because these guys, I think, can kind of be used interchangeably depending on what you're looking for. Like this guy, more defense, like he can get a lot of dodges, you know, in like some of those harder events where you're getting hit a lot too. Um, you know, if he dodges like four attacks or five attacks, he's getting up to like 70, 80% dodge chance, right? Whereas this guy, he's not going to be dodging as much, but his defense is still very good. His offense is even better than this Janemba. So it's kind of interesting that they did that. I'm not really sure what the reason behind it was, I guess. Um, I would have expected them to give him a little bit more attack, honestly, but... Um, yeah, defensively, he's a beast. You know, he is a really amazing defender. I think it's still an excellent easy A. I mean, you combo the passive with the, you know, improved stats where he gets up to 19,042 attack, 11,353 defense. And of course, 19,325 HP is nice too. Um, he, he's great, you know? He is really, really good. And I'm not saying he doesn't hit hard, he still does good damage, he just doesn't hit as hard as maybe you would have expected. So overall, I think it's a very good EZA. It's not like super busted or anything like that in my opinion, but very good, very good for sure. And uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for today's video guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about his details. Um, were you expecting more or are you just fine with what we got you know and that's that's gonna be it man thank you so much for watching hopefully this video helped some of you guys out there in preparing for the Janemba EZA especially the team building aspect and uh, as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.